Hi YouTube, I'm Todd from Todd's Tech Tips and this is going to be a short video on some keyboard shortcuts that you may not be familiar with on your Mac. Keyboard shortcuts, if you don't know, are keyboard uh, combination of keys that help you better navigate around your Mac and get things done faster. Instead of using the mouse to click a menu item, you can just press a combination of keys on your keyboard to perform the same action. For example, if I go to Finder, so notice up the top right here, next to the Apple logo, it'll say Finder. Or, um, if you click on the desktop, or if you get into your menu bar and select or your dock and say Finder. If we click on a file here, we get a whole list of commands that we can select, like such as new Finder window, new folder, and things like that. But notice on the right hand side of these little menu items, there are buttons, or there's a character and a key next to it. So there's a, there are a few characters on a Mac. The one that looks like a clover leaf is called the command key. You'll find it next to your space bar on either the left or right hand side of your, your space bar. The next one is alt. Now alt is, um, if you have a look at this one here, the first character there is alt. So to make a new finder, a new smart folder would be to press alt, command and N at the same time. So say for example if I want to make a new finder window, I can just click, I have to move my mouse all the way up here and click new finder window. But even quicker is if I just hit the desktop and press command key, holding the command key and pressing N. Then release the command and N key. Um, you can press this as many times as you want um, and then you can go about your business. If I wanted to hide all of these command windows, I press command and H. You can find this option in your um, wind, uh, you can, um, it's probably up. I'm unsure of where it is, but it's just there. It's just, you know it. Um, so Command H clears all of the Finder windows, and then you can go ahead and go down to your dock and bring them all back up again. Alternatively to bringing them all back up, if I hide them, if I go into Mission Control, they're not there either. But I can then go ahead and hold my finger down and select the window I wanted. So let's go ahead and close them all. If you want to close them individually, you can press the red button or you can press Command and W. So Command W, you can hold it down and it'll kill them all off. And if there's no windows that are active, there's no windows that are on, you can just hit it and it'll just try and close windows when there aren't any windows there. This works for many applications such as Pages, Numbers, Chrome, Safari, anything else that has a window active, anything really, that is the way to close a window on a Mac. If you want to close the application itself, so for example, if I open up um, Pages, and if I want to close it, to quit it, uh, Macs don't actually close the application that you've had running by pressing this button here. You have to go and click Pages, and then click Quit Pages. If I want to click, quick it, like close it really fast, I press Command Q, and that closes the application down. Much like Alt F4 if you're familiar with a PC. Another one that I'd like to share with you is Command and Tab. So by pressing the Command and Tab key, it brings up this. This is a little way, like the dock, to cycle through only the running applications on your Mac. So notice the dock houses all these other applications that might not be useful, but you can notice down the bottom there that there is a little blue line indicating that this application is running. If I wanted to see the active ones, I can just do this, and then by hitting, by moving my, th I'm pressing Command and Tab here, and if I press Command and Alt, and then Release, it brings up a brand new Finder window or a brand new window or whatever the application is running. So I can do this on Safari, and I can open up a new Safari window, or open up the window that's running in Safari already. That's a few again. Command W. And the last one is a force quit. So if something isn't quitting, you don't want to have to restart your computer, you can go up to the Apple menu here and click force quit, or again, with our command option and escape. So command, command option or alt escape. And this brings up a force quit window where I can go ahead and say I want to force quit text edit. This isn't recommended for closing applications because it can sometimes destroy work. But if a program isn't responding, it will most likely say you want to force quit it anyway, but that's just the, the quicker way to do that. 
Again, I, if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to thumb up the video and don't forget to send me some more ideas over at toddstechtips.com for more videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit long, but I hope it gave you a little more information about your Mac. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe.